Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. Today I'd like to review Your Physique January 1950 and I'm also going to talk firstly about Reg Park's program for developing peak in his biceps which I'll get to in a second. But just admire what I consider Reg Park's probably best cover, um, yeah, mag muscle mag cover in history. I mean this is just beautiful. It's almost, I would say it's just in par with the uh, famous Reg Park cover where he has his sword overhead in color as well. From January 1951, Reg Park here is, is um, demonstrating wonderful lat spread. Lat, I mean, it, <laughs> Reg Park is just in his prime and I'm almost speechless as I'm describing this. It's a very beautiful cover and I, I really enjoy um, looking at this cover, looking at this phenomenal uh, pose from Reg Park. His physique is just as classic as it gets. It's just beautiful. But anyway, let's get straight to the feature article which is Reg Park's high shaped biceps and how he developed it and essentially um, this um, article talks about Reg Park's program uh, which I thought was the highlight of the whole magazine uh, for developing the high biceps he essentially uses three different exercises and these are the concentration curl uh, which was advocated uh, by Reg Park but he, he uh, as I've mentioned before in 1950 he traveled America uh, meeting Wader and meeting a lot of the sorry meeting Joe Wader and a lot of the American champions and uh, for example he, he after speaking to Steve Reeves found that Reeves uh, recommended for developing peak to use the incline curl so that's another uh, exercise that he used for developing the high bicep again three sets of 10 repetitions and finally um, I believe it was um, Alan Pavio or either Clarence Ross, one of the two, who showed him how to um, use basically um, a, a high, a very high box, for example, that you would use for performing um, Olympic weightlifting jerk movements to develop the press overhead or the jerk in the Olympic weightlifting, and you would actually place your arm high over that, as you can see in the in the photo here, and um, perform curls essentially on a high flat bench that's how it basically would be um, it's not like a preacher curl it's completely different um, it, your arms are not hanging down they are actually in a horizontal plane when you start the motion and you curl the bar up so um, those are the three exercises that he used the concentration curl the incline um, the incline curl as well as as well as this um, curl where he performs it on a very high box. Um, a very interesting exercise and some really awesome photos that I have to admit I've never seen before um, such as this one here by Lon. It's just beautiful um, photos here of Reg Park throughout this magazine. I, I really enjoyed reading Your Physique January of 1951 but let's get now right to the beginning of the magazine and the magazine covered many important competitions such as Reg Park winning the most perfect man of America in 1950. Um, here he is winning the competition with his big trophy. Floyd Page came second and many other stars were present that night including Leo Robert, um, Leroy Colbert, a very young Leroy Colbert, Marvin Edda and many others who also attended in the Miss, Mr. Eastern America uh, competition. Some really awesome photos here. Even Zabo, I can't believe I can see a very young Zabo Kozewski here um, who became a Golden Era legend training at Muscle Beach as well as uh, Gold's Gym and many others. So um, yeah, some really awesome photos here. I should probably scan these and put them on my Patreon. Um, now here's the Mr. Canada competition. Uh, we have the winner Joffrey LaRue winning the uh, the most muscular as well, uh, I believe winning that, that particular award um, and Leo Robert winning in the middle uh, the photo here winning the competition uh, we have Ro uh, Rocky Kent who I featured in a recent in a very recent video and I was actually contacted by his family by his son actually who told me his real name and uh, who asked me to send him the articles which I used to feature Rocky Kent 
And here's another article where he's actually shown in competition. We actually came second in the most muscular award, so I'll be sending that as well. So very, I really enjoy it when I get contacted by members of certain bodybuilders, so family members, and they ask me for these favors. I'm really happy to help. Um, and if you are a relative, or um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, if you are a relative, essentially of a of a bodybuilder from the past, you can always get in touch with me if you want more information on uh, on your. Yeah, on, on your forefather or, or your ancestor, because I'm I'm very happy to provide information on on, on this kind of material. Uh, there's also was covered the Miss Body Beautiful, uh, one by Sharon Taylor in 1950. Uh, it's a great photo here of Steve Reeves. I might blow that up for you. Never seen that one before either. It's a very nice photo there of Reeves. Just zoom that in. You can have a good look at it, and it's right here. The, sorry, it, it, it's it's uh, written here. The natural anatomical structure of Steve Reeves' body is one of heavier lower limbs in relation to his upper body. However, Steve has forced his upper body to grow larger and larger for uh, with each smashing workout. Until today, his breadth and shoulder of shoulder and massiveness of chest even overshadows his legs. It is possible to change one's natural appearance by weight training. Um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed um, that zoom on Steve Reeves. I'll now zoom out and continue. Haven't done one of these reviews in a while, and I do enjoy them. I do enjoy showing my uh, collection of magazines, the rare photos. Um, this is how I actually get family members of people such as Rocky Kent, who then write to me and ask me for um, to send them these articles because a lot of people simply don't have access to this stuff, and it's, it's a real honor for me to help family members such as those of Rocky Kent who've asked for his articles and I've happily provided them. Speaking of Rocky Kent, I did, as I mentioned earlier, create a video on him, how he used to train, and the fact that he really looked like um, the actor from The Green Mile, uh, who's, who passed away, of course, um, the late Michael Clark Duncan. His face is uncannily similar. But anyway, Rocky Kent was incredibly strong. And in this article, it shows how strong he really was. Um, he actually used to be able to do sets with 300 pounds, um, squatting that is. He used to squat with 300 pounds, three sets of 10 sets was his general program, uh, including uh, pullovers, bent arm pullovers with 280 pounds. I mean, this guy was super strong. And more impressive was, I've said it before in the previous video, was his beautiful aesthetic proportions. The height of his biceps, the sweep of his, his um, triceps, the, the beautiful lat sweep tapering down, the thick development of the thighs. It makes him look like he's six foot, but he's not. He's actually only five foot three. That's what I find most amazing. Not necessarily the poundage that he used. I mean, the guy was Herculean strong, but the fact that he was so well developed made him look larger than he really was. I'm very impressed with Rocky Kent. I said it in the previous video and I'm saying it again. It was a wonderful article to read and to learn about this legendary bodybuilder. Training for Definition was another article I really enjoyed reading. Um, just look at the definition on this particular bodybuilder, Phil Mazon of Canada. Man, I mean, these guys were ripped back then and natural. No need for diuretics or anything. These guys were just natural and ripped. Fantastic. And what I really enjoyed about this particular um, article was the use of high repetition Olympic weightlifting for getting cut up. And although I initially, when I read this, I was rather skeptical, I looked it up on the internet and coaches nowadays, modern weight training coaches, are using this technique to get their um, athletes basically lose weight, cut up, and, and, and you know lose fat and, and get ripped. So it is a very valid technique, very valid um, training method for getting defined. And in the article, it talks about high repetition dips, so body weight dips, high repetition clean and press, high repetition snatch, and all these other exercises. Um, the jumping squat, here we have the twist for the dumbbell, all these exercises done in high repetitions for high volume um, to, to get cut up. They're basically total bo uh, body motions that e demand extreme amount of energy. And so in doing so, you tend to lose a lot of fat. It's a really good um, workout that I may try one day myself. Fantastic advice there 
from Alan Stefan. And um, now making a champion wasn't necessarily interesting to me, the importance of breathing, everybody knows that. Uh, but this was another great article by Charles A. Smith, who I featured as well in a recent video on how the pioneers of the silver era, such as Reg Park, Steve Reeves and others, really made maximum use of the equipment that they had. And using the cable pulley station, they were able not just to use that as a lap pull down machine or triceps push down, but to create all these different exercises, such as these um, pullovers and, and um, you know, rowing motions, all kinds of things really, um, to develop the, the back in this case and the shoulders. I've, again, I've, I've talked about this in a separate video. I highly recommend you watch it to make full use of the cable pulley station we have nowadays. Of course, uh, a lot of us know these exercises, but back then they didn't. And these pioneers really tried to make maximum use of the equipment that they had. And I really enjoy reading about this stuff. It's, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a very good article, nonetheless. Now, the rest of the magazine, the only other article that I was interested in was by Leo Robert, my favorite abdominal exercises. Again, another uh, video that I recently featured. And what I loved about this particular article was Leo Robert's emphasis, continual emphasis on the health of the gut to develop a good midsection, to develop that tight muscular small midsection it's not just the development of the external musculature there is that is important and that is what leo robert constantly states there are many for example nowadays you know bodybuilders who have great abdominals but they've got a bubble gut and that is because they have no control of the transverse abdominus and their abdominal health is out of you know it's just terrible and so the the, the health of the internal organs will uh, as well as the training of the transverse abdominus, will show in the midsection. And this is what Leo Robert constantly stated in this article, that gut health is absolutely important because having a tight midsection, you will be able to see bloatedness in the, in the midsection if your gut health is terrible, um, as well as having total control of the transverse abdominus. And this is what was so well emphasized in this article. I really enjoyed it. On top of that, of course, training the external musculature with the exercises that I already previously mentioned. But, but again, quickly, the sit-up, the incline sit-up, leg raises, hanging leg raises, side bends, uh, you know, your typical exercises, but a, a fantastic article really highlighting the importance of a holistic approach that they, they used to take um, both health, strength, and physique. All of it was tied in back in the silver and bronze era and golden era of bodybuilding. This is what's so great about that era. Uh, I already covered this particular article of Reg Park and how he developed his high biceps. And Secrets of the Champions, well, that was just basically a big article for Waiter where he talks about his different specialization courses, which I would love to be able to look for and actually eventually, um, you know, purchase and, and maybe even share uh, for, or upload on my website. I don't know. But uh, I am going to be look on, on the lookout for all these courses now that I, I know what they are. Anyway, that was the magazine in total. I hope you've enjoyed this review at, at uh, Your Physique, of Your Physique, January 1951, with a marvelous lat spread pose here of Reg Park in color. Easily one of my favorite covers of all time. Um, yeah, what can I say? It's, it's just a brilliant, brilliant photo. It deserves to be on a frame, doesn't it? I mean, this photo, without the whole Your Physique thing here, this should be in a, fr this should be framed. Th these covers, from Your Physique, Health and Strength, Muscle Builder, really were works of art. You can see that the men, the bodybuilders back then, they displayed this health and vitality when they posed. They had this grace and fluidity. Not like nowadays where they look like they're just always struggling or, you know, like they're just forcing a pose and, and their faces are all, you know, shriveled up and, and it just looks gross. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is beautiful. It looks like it's just, you know, Reg Park looks like he's carved out of granite here. It's just phenomenal. I, lo I love this, this cover. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, 
please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era book and leave me a comment and thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this review of your physique, please give, uh, sorry I already said that, if you've enjoyed um, the review and you enjoy um, what I present, um, please support my research uh, by donating uh, via PayPal, become, you can become a, a patron on my Patreon account. You can also uh, go to my website www.goldenerabookworm.com to purchase out of print books and courses. And of course, if you wish to collaborate or get in touch, uh, for example, if you might have a collection of magazines or books you wish to pass on or other uh, photos or paraphernalia from bodybuilding history, please get in touch uh, via my email. Uh, the, my email is given in, my, in the description below. And yeah, again, hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you, uh, This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.